Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome back to the channel. I'm up here today, kind of a little bit of a different video. I'm in Garden Hill, Ontario, which is uh, north up near Peterborough. And what we're doing, we're uh, spraying a little fertilizer on a cornfield. And this is a little bit different than what you'd normally see, more normally think about. And uh, well, I'll just show you that when we get started here. What we're using is a drone. And this is kind of a technology that's used a lot in the U.S. and it's going to come here in Canada more and more all the time and uh, as it gets licensed. But right now, all we're spraying on it is uh, we're foliar feeding. I'm here with Tanner. Tanner has the drone. Do you want to tell us about what all you're doing here, Tanner? What we're doing, so we got to have the generator going to charge our batteries. So every tank, you got to switch your battery, which is about anywhere from three to five acres. So are these, you're charging these, uh, I heard you say three phase? No, they're only on single phase, so 240 volts right now. Um, and we really, we only use three batteries for one drone. So each drone runs three batteries to keep it running all the time oh, okay. with the fast charger. And that's why we need the big generator. And how many gallons does your drone carry? It holds about 10 and a half gallons. So right now, you, well, all you're doing, all that's licensed in Ontario is fertilizer. Right fertilizer. Yes. So in the future, like in the U.S., they're using chemicals on with drones. Yes, they are. They blanket covered it, so we should be good to go. Hopefully, within the next year or so. And yeah, hopefully it'll change here in Ontario. Exactly. And, and that's why I'm out here today. But we're on the cusp of uh, a, a new technology, yes. you might say. It does work very good too. So what, what you've got for equipment? You got a semi trailer. You got a tank of water, a generator, yep. your fertilizer your chargers, two chairs, one for me and one for Michael, yep. <laughs> and a drone. And this this is your uh, airport. It is. The semi-trailer. They land right on the trailer. So you, you ready to go? We're ready to go. Let's get at her. What do you think, Michael? Pretty nice day today. The crop looks pretty good. This little shot of fertilizer should bring us to the end. I can see, like uh, like I mentioned earlier to you, putting your manganese on your soybeans, this would be the way to do it. Another another advantage I've seen, like there's usually two drones here. We had an accident with one, so we usually have two drones here. I think it's very good to go in, and when you have weed escapes, just to clean up your weed escapes. There's a lot of down air. I told you. the product. <clears throat> so Tanner, does this thing, uh, once you have the field mapped, will it turn by itself? It does it all by itself. You just got to sit and watch. What he's done is come in and pre-mapped these fields ahead of time with a smaller drone, right Michael? That's correct. And, uh, and like he was saying, it just comes in and follows the pattern that he has set forth. It's approximately a 30 foot uh, spray width. So that drone moves approximately 30 feet. Every time. Every time. Because of the trees here, we won't get, if we had a 100 acre field, because we have a lot of trees, we might get 85 to 90 acres. Yeah. We'll never get yeah. 100 acres. Where you guys are, you'll have no yeah. problems getting full coverage. Yep. We have branches that hang over at whatever height. And yeah, and these things would easily get into a hydro wire too. 
<laughs> when you think? There's usually two on this trailer, and <laughs> one of them's not here for that reason. <laughs> I didn't want to bring that up, but I did. <laughs> well, it's interesting to watch it, watch it go. You have zero loss of crop. No tramping. I would say this would be Tanner a lot cheaper than a helicopter. I would think it would be. They're not too expensive. They're pricey enough, but. So on a custom basis, what would you charge to spray? I think we're around that 16 bucks an acre. What do helicopters charge? I honestly have no idea. I'm sure they're probably by the hour. Yeah, maybe. It's unbelievable how much downdraft they have. Downdraft is what's forcing the product into the corner. Yeah. Instead of using uh, water. And, yeah, you get away with a lot less water a lot per less acre. Water, a lot, another truck you don't have to have, and a water guy you don't have to have. But it will take longer. Can you see this at all with your camera? Maybe in the shade. So that's what the drone is seeing. That's what the camera on the drone is seeing and then that's its flight path. Oh, that's in So that's what's done, that's what's left to yep. do. The green is what's done and then that's where it's yeah. gonna run out. So it's gonna come back now. This ran there and it marked its spot, and now it's bringing itself back to the refill. Now, it does all that automatic? I haven't touched anything. So then the pit crew comes. Come. Pretty good. Yeah, so a good spot to go. So you do a quick battery swap. Battery change. So while the, while this guy's using that battery up, that other one will get charged. Yeah. Fully charged again. Fully charged again. So you can virtually go all day. Yeah, it's non-stop with three batteries. And once you get a tote mixed up, that'd do a lot of acres. Yeah. So at two gallons to the acre, that tote does about. 130 and the best part of this whole thing is it marks the spot where it ran out and he'll go down and find the spot where he ran out of chemical and finish his strip. Well, I think you're seeing the future here today. Don't you think, Frankie? Well, let's do it. Definitely the start of a change for spraying application. Yeah, no, you probably couldn't spray Roundup with it, but you know, there's lots of chemicals you could use. But for, for sure, foliar feeding, it's the way to go. I like when it goes to take off, that little voice tells you to stand back at a safe... <laughs> and you listen to it. Yeah, I did. I think it's a good idea to listen to it. Yeah, when those blades are going, I think they would... Uh, They'd make some hamburger out of your leg pretty quick. <laughs> Tanner, what kind of weight can that carry? Um, I've, there's videos on YouTube of them lifting people. 
guys one. just hanging on to it and taking off. So that 200 plus pounds, I think. So you want to keep that away from a prison, probably. You can't fly near one. It's a complete red zone. It will not fly. Oh, they've got Any that. Near, like the one in Warford. So it will not fly? It will not take off. Because you could fly in, grab somebody. Yeah. And how about uh, close to airport? Like, airport, around. you need a special unlock to fly near airport, which is not too hard to get. But somewhere like out here in Garden Hill, you're good to go? Good to go. As you can tell, it's not real built up here, is it? As far as big buildings and skyscrapers and whatnot. No, there's not too much <laughs> built up here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I noticed that when it said uh, no exit on the road when we turned down here. <laughs> <clears throat> That's great. So it's out? No, it's going back so it's going to back where it ran it. Going to find its spot. So it's it's finished this side. This side. This side. Okay. It's always trying to find the most efficient way in and out, stop and start. So, so you'll it notice it lands, it spins itself so it's facing pretty much straight back out every time it lands. So it continued on. So it knew it had enough to finish this side, and then it'll go over there to... Yeah. It's probably smarter than we are, Michael. There's a lot of things on us that are smarter than <laughs> I am. The are divided the field right here, so we can do our thing right now. We're just a little worried about losing signal down there. Yeah. We'll do our thing here. When it turns around right there, we're here. He can divide, separate, do all that. Show it where And once these fields are, uh, uh, you've went around them with the other drone, you just keep that year to year. Yeah. As long as nothing ch majorly changes, you just keep going on the same one. And tell us about this stand out there. That's, uh, what's that doing? That's the RTK station, so you get really accurate. GPS from that. So you're getting your GPS off of there, not off the one up in the air. Yeah, so it takes the satellites and then it has the base on the ground, so then you're within a couple inches accurate. Oh, it's coming back now. It's coming back. Everybody off the landing the zone. You should make a couple big X's on oh. here. I back. That would really work on a hot day. You could hover over top of your lawn chair. It's very nice on a hot day. <laughs> you know, you have to think the maintenance to something like this is considerably less. But oh, yeah. Even if you had four of them, if you're able to run four of them, you could get make work of a hundred acre farm pretty quick. So can one guy run four or two is enough? Uh, you need two people. Yeah. Two people per. And you're going to need uh, a, a crew to fill them. Yeah. You'd be darn busy with four of them. Yeah, like you can run two with one guy. That's a big So you need, you need one guy to run two. Yeah. So filling it, doing two it guys, but I, My point is if you had four, you added up the cost of four of these and the setup, they're considerably less than a uh, helicopter. Well, considerably less than a Even ground, a ground rig. rig. Yeah, ground rig, yeah. With, with very little maintenance. Oh. I think our tank's empty. Tank fertilizer's empty. You'll have to mix up some more fertilizer. We'll get some more well, listen, Tanner, I've enjoyed coming out here today. Well, thank you for coming. And uh, I learned a lot. I hope everybody on the channel did. Hopefully. And, and I know this was Michael's idea. Thanks, Michael. Thank you for coming down. And uh, I appreciate it. it's been a lot of fun. Frankie, you got this job right down pat. Oh, trying my best <laughs> here. <laughs> That's good. Well, thanks a lot. No, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. And if you'd like this video, give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.